Hey guys, it's Nate again. Um, this video I'm going to show you the bottom edge set and its variations. Um, this set is primarily for mink, but it takes muskrat, and if you do it bigger, it can take otter. And what it is, uh, you got to pretend this is underwater, and say this is the top of the water, the pipe. Um, mink travel the edges to hunt and travel, and as soon as they come across a point, they cut it. Because they're, I mean, all animals are as lazy as humans. Um, so it's mostly used with 110s, but you can use footholds. Um, I'll show you a couple of different styles of each. Um, this is called a stakealizer. It's for 110, it's a stake and a stabilizer. Um, you throw it through the trap ring, you put it right on the point. This can also be used on bridges, so right on the point, just like that. Um, almost set the 110, put the springs away, um, get it a wide so it shoots in here, and then Set the dog on the first notch. Pull the spring down. Um, I mean, that's pretty stable there. You can use a lath and count it in. And then that's rock solid. Or you can use a, a rock. I mean, the Manx traveling this edge will cut across and she'll be dispatched right away. Um, here's another version of the 110 with a different kind of staking system. Uh, some people uh, put a rock right here so they cut around and it's just a little easier sometimes but I like to mix it up. And this one you just push right onto the point or bridge or culvert. It's nice because it swivels. You set right in the middle. And same deal. Put a rack here. And that's stable. Um you can do the same thing at a bridge. Um it'd probably be more at each end, I'd put four in each bridge or culvert. Um, that dispatches the mink right away. Uh, say on a bridge. Uh, you, you say, like, here's a bridge going this way, and this is where it comes out. Um, you can use the 110 right there, or if it's shallow enough, you can use a foothold. Uh, my favorite's the Victor Number no. Two, old style. Um, I'll set it for you. This grabs the mink right on the top of the arm. Um, but as humane as you can get. Um, always put the loose jaw against here so it doesn't get flipped. Um, if you need it higher or you can't bet it, take a piece of sod. You dig up right here. You can bed it nicely. I mean, if it's shallow, the mink will come running along. I'll grab him right there. I mean, of course, you would stake it uh, with your preferred method. Um, this takes advantage of minks hugging the uh, walls. Um, like I said, use it on points and bridges. Um, it's pretty simple, you don't need any lure, really, unless you put some uh, mink lure up on the bridge, just to kind of get them funneling through. I like to use Lennon's number two super range alcohol, well, that's my favorite. Um, yeah, fast and simple, minks all, usually 99% hug that wall. Um, if you want to learn a lot about mink trapping, I would go to minktrapping.com. It's made by Don Powell, and he has an amazing book. Um, it's taught me a lot. Um, this is pretty much it, guys. I'll be making more videos tomorrow. Um, 
Thanks for watching. Bye.